Nicholson? Present. Chateaubriand? Present. Rodek? Present. Brown? Present. Tchaikovsky? Present. Lonsdale? Present. Carter? Present. Our objective is to cover the landing of a special agent on the French coast near La Touque. As usual, you will refresh your memory of the area before you leave this room. Nothing has been changed since your last instructions. Captain Baird, will you take over? Very good, sir. Good luck. Well, may I see Jeffrey Carter, please? Now, Major West, I'd assign Carter to the wheel. Will he be able to take over, sir? No, I'm afraid not. You come with me, Carter. McGregor, on the wheel. Hernandez, Christopoulos, two and three. Carter, you've been chosen as a special agent because of your particular qualifications. You speak fluent French, of course. Free French, sir. Good. Where is your home, Carter? My home was Coventry. I see. I think you're the man for us. Will you change into these while I explain? Did you ever see one of these? Some an 88 millimeter Jerry anti-tank gun, sir. Good boy. Now, this is confidential. Our intelligence informs us that in order to fight the new tanks used by the Americans in the invasion of North Africa, the Germans have begun to manufacture these things in large quantities in France. Well, they'll need them in France, too. Exactly. They'll need them, but we must see that they don't get them. One of the factories is located in the valley of Cherchel. Now, your job is to spot it for us if you can. I'll try to give you a bullseye, sir. Good. The RAF will fly over Cherchel at midnight on the 16th. That's three days from now. You'll have to work fast. And do we have any contacts there? Yes, there's one. A, a certain Father Desiree. He may be able to help. There'll be a commando raid on Calais on the night of the 17th. You will return with them if... Uh... Yes, sir. Well, I need hardly remind you that without your uniform, you're liable to execution as a spy. Yes, sir. Well, let's get down to business. Now, here's a photographic map of the factory area. You see this spot here? Signal.
be for concealing a goat from the agricultural inspector? Well, the child would die if we don't have any milk for him. You wouldn't report us. It would be good for me to have you as a housekeeper, Fräulein. Me? Housekeeper? For you? Well, maybe you bring the baby and the goat when you keep house for me. Then the goat is mine and neither one of us breaks any rules. I like you. Maybe I'll marry you. Tomorrow night at the cafe, there's a band concert with the soldiers and their friends. It is good that we should make friends with the French girls. Tomorrow night, you'll come into town, meet me at the cafe. If I can. It would be too bad if anything stopped you. Good night, Fräulein. Tomorrow night. It is a fine young one. <laughs> yes, I know. You're hungry. I'll get her some hay. It will get sick if we keep it down there. Tonight, when it's dark, we'll take them to the woods and hide them there. Neither of you will be harmed if you do as I say. <laughs> well, who are you? I'm French, from Alsace Lorraine. I ran away from a German work camp. He's lying. If he's French, why should he threaten us? He's probably one of those commandos. Be quiet, Odette. What do you want? I want to hide here. Don't do it, Papa. The Germans... Let me handle this, Odette. Stay where you are. Hessen, das Haus durchsuchen. Prinz und Blanke, das Feld. Und auf Sie Block. Nehmen Sie kurz und mein Geld und durchsuchen Sie die Scheune. Germans. Go with me, Vorio, and I shoot. The trap door. Oh. Yes, monsieur. Those goats you are hiding from them. We'll go bad with you and your family if they find out. We'll rest with you to see they do not. I'll see to it. Vorsichtig. Diese Kommandos sind gerissene Hunde. The barn door. You locked it when you came in. It'll make the Germans suspicious. Unlock it, Odette. Now. Your agricultural inspector's already been here. He's taken everything we have. Never mind. We're here to search your barn. Search them. Papa! Where is Odette? Where is she? Oh, oh Odette. What is it they're looking for? 
What is it? What is it that you want again? You come in, you turn my house upside down. It's all right, my dear. Everything is all right. What is it? Assistant Herr Leutnant. Warten Sie draußen. Draußen Bord. Sie auch, Herr Sir. Last night, two men of the patrol were killed. You've seen to it we have no weapons. You should know we couldn't have killed anyone last night. I am sure the Fräulein could not have committed murder last night. Leave us alone. Are we never to know peace? You French have a strange desire sometimes to commit suicide by helping these English murderers. You're certain this one was English? We found his bicycle hidden in the bushes. One of these commandos again. I told you. Be quiet, Odette. We are not in trouble enough without the English coming along. Who is English? Now you see. She would have to know anyway, sooner or later. Papa, what is the girl talking about? Nothing, Mama. The Englishman, he's down there. But what do you want me to do? It couldn't be a lie to tell the Germans we found him after they had gone. The goat is safe now. Let me handle this my own way, Odette. But the English killed people. Odette! I'm sorry, Papa. You can come out now. And uh, put away the gun, Monsieur. All we French do not share my daughter's feelings toward the English. We fought together in the last war. You can hide in the cellar till dark. Then get out and stay out. I'm afraid that won't be possible. I would have to ask Madame to take her daughter into the house. I wish to speak with Monsieur alone. Go along, Odette. Your daughter doesn't seem to like the English. These are bad days for us all, Monsieur. My son Pierre was killed by the English at Oran. In war, one is often forced to do things one doesn't like to do. That I understand, Monsieur, but my daughter. She has to take care of Pierre's child. His wife died in childbirth the night she heard the news. Tell me, Monsieur, do you know her father, Desiree? I knew him very well. Ten days ago, Father Desiree was executed by the German firing squad. Perhaps I could help. You're here to do something? You know the munitions factory? There are five, monsieur. First, I want to know which is the real factory. I've been told the other four are dummies. None of us has been able to find that out. How about the men who work there? They are driven into their work through a long, dark tunnel where it comes up, in which factory no one knows but the Germans. Can't you tell anything from the outside of the factories? They're all exactly the same. Do you know of any man who works there who could be trusted? There are many. Grande's third son works in the blast furnace. He was the best friend of my Pierre. Could I see him, this third son of Grande's, tonight after dark? That would be difficult, monsieur, for you, a stranger. But my son Pierre... It's perfectly natural that my son Pierre would go to see his old friend, Jacques Grande. Your son? Only the villagers know that my son has been killed. Leave that to me. You'd better hide in the cellar. Bonjour, Monsieur Fabien. Bonjour, Monsieur Bernard. They cut the rations in half again. Nothing can make me sad today, Monsieur Fabien. Our son Pierre has just returned. Pierre? Son Pierre will be walking the streets of Cherchel again. I, I, I'm, I'm happy for you, Monsieur Bonnard. They cut the rations in half again, Madame Boucher. Have you heard? Pierre Bonnard is back in town. Bonjour, Madame Favre. Oh, Maurice Bonnard. 
You must be happy with the news. News? What news is there but that we get less bread? But your nephew Pierre has come home. My nephew Pierre is dead. Who? What nonsense are you talking? Maurice, come with me to the tobacconist. This is a fine knife for sticking pigs. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I must warn you, Monsieur Carter, to use care in your conversation with my wife. Since my son Pierre was killed, she's not been quite right. She's not herself. I understand. Here is Pierre's jacket, Barry, and scarf. Thank you, madame. He is so much like our Pierre, is he not, papa? Yes, mama. So much like our Pierre. I wish you could know him. Perhaps someday. He liked excitement too. That's why he joined the Navy, our Pierre. Supper is ready. Oh, you must be hungry. Come. Thank the good Lord for the food we're about to eat. It may not be much, but we comfort ourselves knowing that others eat less. And that our cause is just. Amen. Amen. The Englishman is staying with us. This is your brother Pierre, Odette. Don't forget that. I'm not forgetting. If Pierre is staying with us, he will have to register so we can get extra rations. I'll only be with you a few days, sister. And me, without explanation? That's the way it'll have to be. Do you realize what insanity this is? A commando disappears. And suddenly, out of nowhere, our Pierre comes home. Then, just as suddenly, poof, he disappears. Who would be fool enough to believe that? Even if it were possible for Pierre to... Hold it. We are doing only what Pierre would want us to do. You are very much like Pierre. It will not be difficult. Last time we heard from Pierre, he was with the fleet at Oran. Oran? Yes, Monsieur, at Oran. Since then, he's gone to Syria. He does not want to be there, I know. Our Pierre is a patriot. The thought of fighting for the Germans must drive him mad, but they made him go, so he went. But he is going to desert and join the Free French. Could you tell me a little about Pierre before Iran? You'll have a chance to read his letters before you go into town. Jacques Grande doesn't start work until nine. You will find that Jacques Grande has changed since you saw him last, Pierre. You remember how he was so fat and always laughing? You remember the time you laughed at him because he was so fat that his collar button snapped during mass? <laughs> Mama, you're forgetting your soup. And here is a picture of Pierre with Jacques Grande. Such a silly picture. It was taken at the street fair in Paris on Bastille Day. The last Bastille Day before the war. If you want to see Jacques Grande, we'd better be starting. Are you coming with me? It would prevent suspicion if I came along and... Besides... I don't want my family shot for harboring a murderer. I thought perhaps you might want to go to the band concert. No, I'm very grateful for your generous offer, Mademoiselle Odette. But I'd feel safer if you stayed home this evening. Your father could watch you. I said you were going to stay here. I'm going to feed the goat if it's any of your affair. Do you mind if I walk with you? You seem to be giving the orders. Let me take that boy. I wouldn't try to do anything foolish if I were you. I don't know what you mean. Like turning me into your friend Block. 
You were spying on me last night. I didn't intend to. All right. I did want to go to the cafe and see Block, if that means anything to you. All it means to me is that a French girl who knows I'm here is a little too friendly with a German soldier. That's my affair. Not as long as you can turn me in. And why shouldn't I turn an Englishman in, I would like to know? You made us fight for you, then left us alone to be overrun. Well, the Germans are here, on every street corner, in our stores, in our schools, in our houses. And still the English aren't satisfied. They send you and your kind over to make it worse for us, to put our lives in danger. You're trying to clear your conscience by blaming it on the English. You say you hate us because we killed your brother. Didn't you? But that's only the excuse you give yourself. Don't you know if you give Block an inch, he'll take a mile? Why sell out everything you believed in for one goat? I'll tell you why. Because my brother's child must have milk to stay alive. Because Block is young and stupid and will let me keep the goat as long as I pretend to be nice to him. And how long can you just pretend? What do you want me to do? Fight. I can't tell you how or where, that's up to you. I could tell you to find the thousands like you and do what they do, little things from day to day, from hour to hour. The will to resist, that's the important thing. Wherever it is, whenever it is. The spirit of people who love freedom, who can't live without it. The more you give to block, the more he'll ask of you until he's had all he wants from you, and then <laughs> there won't be a man or woman in Shell who'll even speak to you. The little children will throw stones at you. The women will spit at you. There's no one so lonely as a traitor to his country, Odette. A traitor to my country, monsieur? Or to England? You'd still give me up. Yes, I thought you would. Monsieur Bonnard. I think you'd better watch your daughter pretty closely. Where can I find Jacques Grande? Third house on the left of the Rue Lafayette as you go from the village square. Thank you. Yeah. Good evening, mademoiselle. Hello, Pierre. Hello, monsieur. Grande. My Jacques has been expecting you. When we heard Pierre Bonnard had returned, we knew he would want to see his old friend. Jacques, Pierre Bonnard has come to visit. Oh, Jacques, mon Pierre. Oh, oh, mon Dieu, Pierre. Mais t'as encore grandi, toi. Et toi, mon vieux, ça va? Hein? Ah, maintenant que je t'ai retrouvé. Oh, Pierre. I want you to make the acquaintance of our two guests, Monsieur Zimmer and Monsieur Brown. They're staying with us. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. They've asked me to teach them French while they're here. They're very good pupils. They may not speak it so well, but understand every word. <laughs> they are bright fellows, these Germans. I fought alongside them in Syria. I wish I had the opportunity to fight like you, Pierre. Oh, it's an important work you are doing at the factory, Jacques. Well, sometimes it's hard to be patient. But tell me, Pierre, what will you be doing now that you're home? Oh, I plan to do some job at the factory. You could do important work at the factory. I'd be most effective without these five jobs I could do. I see your problem, but whatever you do, old friend, try not to get a job where I am. I come home with a headache every morning. That rising sun shines right in my eyes through the skylight at the rear of the building. After fighting in Syria, I like the sun, Jacques. 
I think I'd like to do my work in the building that gets the sun from the east. If that's the job you'd like to do, I say good luck to you, Pierre. I suppose you realize, Jacques, it means certain death for the night shift if those British bomb the factory. Oh, if they did, it would not be hard to die knowing I was dying for the cause. Jacques, I think you better get ready now. You'll be late for work. Mm. Mm. Then when will I be hearing from you? I'll be busy harvesting in the fields during the day, let's say, tomorrow night. Well, I'll be waiting. Au revoir, Pierre. Au revoir, Jacques. Au revoir, Maman. Au revoir, Petit. Auf Wiedersehen! Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs> Father Desiree's grotto, we call this. From the mouth of the cave, you can see the whole valley. Voilà, monsieur. That's the one. That's what he meant. The early morning sun on the skylight to the east. So beautiful it is when the sun strikes. And underneath, they're making shells, steel shells to conquer the earth. Monsieur, whose fields surround that factory? To the west, beyond the factory, where the roads fork, that's the land of my brother Maurice. The widow Grieu and her three daughters farm the lands to the north. Old Danton has the fields to the south. And to the east? To the east, monsieur, just below us is my farm. They have a plan, monsieur? If all four farms were to harvest their fields from the outside, that would make a fire break. Yes, monsieur. A solid circle of burning wheat fields with the factory in the center. That would make a perfect bullseye for bombers flying over. It could be done in an afternoon if we were all agreed to it. It must be done. See that old mill by the stream? I'll gather the others and meet you there in an hour. Right. Why have you got us here? You know I want no part of your plotting with the English. Who is this man? What does he want? How do we know we can trust him? Hey, you all know this is disloyalty to our government. Squeal like a frightened pig. Be quiet. Tonight at midnight, the RAF will bomb the munitions factory. If you agree, your job is to set fire to your fields five minutes before. That is the simple problem. Do you realize what you're asking us to do? I realize I'm asking you to risk your lives. Uh, risk our lives? That's a joke. Every day we risk our lives when we walk in the streets. But to burn our crops to destroy our food? Destroy the food of the Nazi army, do you mean? And see our land confiscated? It's only five acres I have left out of 25, and you ask me to give that up too. This is our land. Land that's taken us years to cultivate. Haven't the English given us enough trouble? Are we going to stand by and see them destroy all we've done in our valley? Are we to stand by and let the German filth destroy our country? The locusts came to our fields once. It was necessary then to burn the fields to rid them of the plague. If we don't burn the fields while the Germans are here, they'll burn them as they leave. If the miser Maurice will not burn his own fields, I'll burn them for him. I'll burn him up myself. That won't really be necessary. My brother may be a miser, but he's still a Democrat. We're all against you, Maurice. Your brother is a Laval Democrat. I tell you this, Maurice Bonal. The vultures have fed long enough on the bodies of loyal Frenchmen. Maybe they would like the taste of a collaborator's flesh. If you want to destroy yourselves, I can't argue. How do we set the First, we have a job to do this afternoon. We must cut a fire break around the fields. You make a fool of me. You leave me sitting all evening alone, waiting for you. But I've told you I couldn't come. 
I just couldn't come, that's all. Why not? Oh, that... Mama, what is it? What's happened? Why is he here? Oh, Frau Bonar, perhaps you would be good enough to explain why your daughter could not meet me at the cafe last night. Meet no. you? I'll tell you, my brother Pierre came home. Your brother? When did he arrive? Yesterday afternoon. I was on duty at the Commandantur yesterday afternoon, and no Pierre Bonnard registered. He was so tired when he came home. Where is he now? He'll be back. If you know that, you know where he has gone. They have gone to the fields. My husband always starts plowing before dawn. Your fields are empty. I want no more lies from you. Where is this man you say is your son? You are looking for me, monsieur? Hands in the air. Pierre, where have you been? Papa and I went out to look over the valley. It's been so long since I've seen the sun rise over our hills. Why didn't you register with the commandant? <laughs> Frankly, because... Because I have no papers. Failing to register and no papers. They were taken away from me by the English in Syria. You understand, Fräulein? When I report this man to the Commandant, he can be shot. Oh, no. And maybe he won't make any more trouble for you and me. Monsieur Blood, please. Why? Your mother should be proud. You trained her well. I want her to come to my house as housekeeper. Oh, no. Oh, oh your yeah, guards. Oh, no, baby. No. I demand to see the Commandant. Very good. Go ahead. As a Frenchman, Herr Hauptmann, these actions are serious enough. But I have reason to believe this Pierre Bonnard is the Englishman we've been searching for. I'm not concerned with what you think, Bloch. What are the facts? One tobacco pouch, Herr Hauptmann. Clearly marked, made in London. Country house mixture. I smoked this while I worked there. Send the man in. Herr Hauptmann, the Bonnard girl, I'm sure she is loyal. She had nothing to do with sheltering the murderer. So you've been consorting with the local women again, Block. Oh, no, Herr Hauptmann, I have no interest in the girl. Then perhaps you will allow me to decide whether she is loyal. Yes, Herr Hauptmann. Where are my English cigarettes? Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. You may go, Block. Sit down, Bonner. Cigarette. Thank you, Monsieur. You have no idea what a luxury this is. You are a cigarette smoker, Monsieur? Yes, Monsieur, but lately I've been reduced to smoking a foul pipe tobacco. I took my dead Englishman in Syria. <coughs> you will have to forgive me, monsieur. I'm not used to your German tobaccos. Those are English cigarettes, taken from a dead English commando in France. And the English say we French have no taste for tobaccos. <laughs> Perhaps they are right. If the English are right, monsieur, I'm proud to be wrong. You are no connoisseur, Bernard, but I like your spirit. However, your conduct has been strangely undisciplined. My conduct, monsieur? Will you please explain why you have not registered with me before this? Oh, I was told I could rest at home. You were told? By whom? Why, didn't Conrad, uh, didn't Monsieur Block tell you? Tell Winter you? Officer Block does not give orders. But the night I came home, How I... How does it happen no guard stopped you the night you came home? 
I don't know, monsieur. Oh, unless it was the night the commando... I was... see. And how did you chance to speak with Under Officer Block? He was calling on my sister. Block? I'm sure Monsieur Block meant no... I will determine what Under Officer Block meant. Hello, Holtman. Block, were you at the Bonar farm the night Rudolph and Kunditz were killed? Certainly not, Herr Hauptmann. Now, Conrad, how can you say that? Don't you remember we had coffee together and you said that for Odette's brother you would make an exception if she went with you to the band concert? That proves he's Englishman. I saw no one but Odette. Then you were at the farm. Yes, but I... Quiet. You're a first-class mechanic, I understand. Yes, monsieur. The lieutenant outside will register you. We need good mechanics on the Eastern Front. Thank you, Monsieur. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Herr Hauptmann, it is true that I was at the Bonar farm. That is admitted. But this man, he must have been there too. I find your attitude a little difficult to understand, Block. We are not sentimentalists about women. I am tired of your adolescence. I know I can prove I am right, Herr Hauptmann. Very well. If you can do that, I won't have to send you back to Germany. Thank you, Herr Hauptmann. Heil Hitler. Oh, get out, Heil Hitler. Now well, we'd better go out to the fields, my son. If we're to be finished by sundown. Well. What is it, Maurice? You know, I just want to borrow a whetstone for my side. Well, I'll get you one. Oh, you spent your whole life working this farm. It would be a shame to see it destroyed. Well, think of your family. It's not too late to call this whole insane thing off. Here is your whetstone, Maurice. And I'd do more harvesting and less talking if I were you. Well, there's no need to threaten me. big and frightening, isn't it? You are wondering why you were born, aren't you? Well, maybe you are the lucky one. Maybe you'll grow up to a world when you can wander free in the meadows and through the green grass. <laughs> Come on. singing because we like to sing it makes the work go faster that's good the fear needs more wheat look that's block and his men going to my house perhaps something's wrong oh, he's probably calling on odette you know, they're very friendly. I find it regrettable that I am received in no house with a welcome. It is of your own doing. It's lonely sometimes to be so far away from home. A trespasser is always lonely. 
you're so much like my own mother. Always she had a sharp answer but a loving heart. I am thinking what your mother's heart must feel. Isn't your son loyal to Germany, Frau Bonner? Didn't he fight with us in Syria? My son is a good boy. He is good and he is loyal. When I was young, I had a friend like Pierre. That's why I like him. Your Pierre reminds me of my friend. I used to carry his picture because I loved him like a brother. You are a good boy. One day I lost that picture. Oh, it is not a thing to lose the picture of a friend. It is good to have pictures. With pictures, it seems people are with you. You have pictures of your Pierre? Oh, yes, from the time he was a little child when the farm was still green before the factories came. Those were the good days. My Pierre was always small for his age, up to his 15th year. And then he sprouted like a poplar tree. <laughs> it would do my heart good to see pictures of your Pierre in those days. Yes. It would take me back to the days when I was young with my friend. Oh, wait. I don't like it. They're staying too long. Perhaps you'd better check up. I'll keep on the cover near the mill and meet you there. Tonight at 11.30. You will see how fast he grew one summer. Three inches. There. His clothes hung on him like a scarecrow in those days. You have pictures of him today as he is now? Oh, yes. I have pictures he sent me. Mama! Leave us alone! The very good pictures of your brother, Fräulein. I don't understand. It's all right, Mama. Very hard to find out. Who is this man who claims he's your brother? He forced us to let him stay here. He would have killed us all. You know the... English Where is he now? He's with my father in the fields. He made my father go with him. I wonder if I caught him at the door, trying to run away. So you tried to run away. And why was that? Papa, they found out about him. You told them about that? He'd already found out. Where is the Englishman now? I don't know. I tell him, Papa, there is no reason now. What will they do, Papa? I do not understand. We will shoot you, Frau Bonar. Unless perhaps your husband will tell us where the Englishman is. Raoul. It is not in my power to tell you where the Englishman is. Take him to the jail. We will see if it is not in your power. Them. Papa, for once you have to listen to me. What good does it do to give your life for nothing? If you want to fight on the battlefield, that's different. But we can't do that. Just for the sake of one Englishman, you can't sacrifice your whole family. Tell them where he is, Papa, and they will let us go. Then we'll be able to fight. We'll be alive to fight when the time comes. The time has come almost past, Odette. And we were so close to achieving our purpose, too. The one last chance for an old man to do something for his country. And you, Odette, wouldn't help us. Someday, perhaps very soon, you'll learn, Odette. And it'll be a hard and bitter lesson. Surrender only means a slower death with these men. The Nazis give you no quarter, and you can make no deals with them. Odette Bernard. Come in, Fräulein Bonar. Winter Officer Block tells me you were most cooperative in exposing the Englishman. Why not? Precisely. A wise attitude. 
Now we must know where the Englishman is. I don't know. Your father does. He won't tell me. Perhaps, Fraulein, we might be moved to leniency with your father and mother, if you could help us to find him. You would? But naturally, Fraulein. You'll find we're as generous with our friends as we are ruthless with our enemies. I know a man who would talk if no police were listening. I would have to be alone with him. I give you one hour. If you're not back by then, your parents will be killed. Preparations have already been made. I'll be back. Double the search squads. And arrest those known to have had contact with the Englishman. Be getting to work. Good night, Momo. Good night, Jack. Jack Grande. I'm Jack Grande. Arrest him. No. Jacques! Is this your son? Of course he's my son. My third son. Bring her along. Why are you arresting us? <gasps> Saboteur! Forward! Where are you going, Uncle Maurice? What are you doing here? You were arrested. I want to know where the Englishman is. Oh, what Englishman? You can't mix me up in this. If you don't tell me, I'll turn you over to the Germans. Oh, you couldn't do that? My family's lives depend on it. All right, I'll tell you all I know. All I know is he will be at the Grignard Mill at 11.30. You can tell them that. If that isn't true, it means your life too, you know? Oh, it's true. I swear it's true. If you want me, I'll be sitting at the cafe, right out on the sidewalk, so everyone can see Maurice Bernard had nothing to do with anything. Time is up, gentlemen. Well, you are punctual, Fraulein. You seem to be very fond of your parents. What about the Englishman? He will be at the Collier Meal at 11.30. Well, is that all? That's all you need, isn't it? It will suffice. 11.30 at the Grelia Mill. We'll take him alive and bring him down here. Tomorrow morning, he'll be hanged in the middle of the city square and left there as a reminder. May I see my parents now? Yes, of course. We shall take you to your parents immediately. Another execution? Don't ask questions. Just bring. Do you suppose? I passed the graveyard on my way to steal the kerosene. They were digging four fresh new graves. Four graves? We have no time for nonsense. They'll need more than four graves for the work we do tonight. This is war. <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> once again, my men have apprehended those who plotted treason against us. And once again, these traitors have received the only treatment they deserve. Death before the firing squad. 
Remember this. Any of you who try with your puny schemes to do acts of sabotage or rebellion against the Third Reich, it will be our policy in the future to shoot not only the traitor himself, but all of his family as well. Heil Hitler. of you to come here. Why did the Englishman go to the mill? Oh, I know how you feel. I feel that way, too. We have nothing to reproach ourselves with. It was their own foolishness. What were the Englishman's plans? Oh, it's better that you don't know that. Never mind. Leave that to me. I have it all figured out. If they thought we knew too much, they'd wonder why we didn't come to them sooner. It would be very easy for me to tell them that you knew all the details. Odette. You couldn't do that. Unless you tell me everything you know. I call over a Nazi soldier and have you arrested for concealing information. But, uh, you're out of your mind. I have no time to waste, Maurice. Have a glass of wine. Just sit down and I'll tell you. The RAF is flying over at midnight to bomb the munitions factory. The Englishmen wanted to set fire to our fields to show where the factory is. I see. Burn our crops, do you understand? Ruin our land. Oh, if we weren't killed by the bombs, the Germans would have shot us. My father wanted that. All of them did. All Danton, those crazy women, they were out of their minds. We're at peace with Germany. What right have the English to come and bomb our factory? I would stay right here if I were you, Maurice. I doubt if the bombs will hit the village. But there aren't going to be any bombs because they won't be able to see their target. Do you understand? ran out. We were beginning to worry about you because of the girl. Are the incendiaries ready? Yes, they're ready. Tell us what to do. There's something wrong. They've taken all the guards away. The girl and Maurice might have set a trap for us. We better hide that explosive until we find out what's up. In the flower bin. Impressive little group to have caused so much trouble. I thought you were rather more clever than this. Tomorrow we'll have another execution. Take them back to jail. If you will do me the honor, 
I'd like you to ride back with me. I have a few questions to ask of you. What was your objective? These English. Refuse to tell us what your objective was? Time. What time is it? After midnight. A little after midnight. After midnight? <laughs> then I can tell you what my plan was. Your plan was? Sabotage. Inside the factory. By whom? Patriotic Frenchmen. I don't know their names. What kind of sabotage? What kind of sabotage? Blow up your loading depot. What time? Midnight. Lock, take him to jail. Let's get to the factory at once. Patrol room. Remove all French workers from the factory immediately. Everyone at double speed. I want all available soldiers sent into the factory at once to stand guard. We'll scour every inch of the plant for saboteurs. Yes, sir, to see the commandant, that's all. Well, you sit over there and be quiet. Keep your mind on your cards. Quietly, you'll have to get out. Oh, please. Please, I, I didn't really come to see the commandant. Uh -huh. I was the one who told them about the Englishman. All the villagers are angry and I'm afraid. Oh, please, please, will you lock me in a cell so I'll be safe? They want to murder me because I was loyal to the Germans. Why didn't you tell us this? I didn't want to seem frightened. Well, you're a woman. Why shouldn't you be frightened? Oh, please, let me sleep in the jail tonight. All right. That's what you want. Oh, the... Nazi sweetheart, Odette. Stop staring at me, you stupid people. Murderer of your father. This time the clever Englishman wasn't any cleverer than the stupid French who helped him. Nazi lover. There they come. No one to light the fires. You are as dull and stupid as the Nazis say you are. Do we have to stay in the same pen with this pig kisser? <laughs> Tomorrow they'll shoot you for the traitors you are. And I'm glad. 
Send her to Hitler with a ribbon around her neck. We'll put her in the same cell with us. We'll send her an execution. We'll hang her for the cross to eat in front of our France. Oh, oh it's great. Right. Monsieur Pio, Monsieur Pio. Silence us. It's me they are screaming at. I can't stand it. Take me out of here. You will all of you keep your filthy mouths shut or you will be bound and gagged. Start the fires going. I'll try to blow up the tunnel so the Nazis will be trapped in the factory. We'll meet at the meal when it's done. Right. Mama dear, can you make anything out? Not a thing. Circle the valley once more and then give up. Soldiers are to be sent out of the factory and to their posts. Check and all anti aircraft units, Bush. Front, prepare for outbreaks among the villagers. Clipper, have the Englishman brought here at once. <laughs>
We've done it. Yes, we've done it. Look at them. They're English. I don't care who they are. They're on my side and they're fighting. They did a good job. There's nothing left. But we must get away from here. The fire's all around us. This river goes to the coast, doesn't it? Yes. Good. I have some friends who'll be waiting for me in Calais. Thank you. You and the child won't be very welcome in the Valley of Cherchelle. No. I could take you both back to England with me. This is where I belong. But if you would take him... Where I'm sending you, darling, they won't even speak French. But they are your friends. You know what it's going to be like for you now. I know what it was like for my father and mother. Keep him safe, so he can grow strong in your free country. I don't want him to see what my hands are going to do. And when our job is done, bring him back. I will. You'll be seeing me soon, and a lot more like me. We'll be waiting for you, and a lot more like us.